Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the Elgato Stream Deck SDK and I will show how we can work with uh, a single instance. It's meaning a one button. So what we're gonna do today, it's uh, this one in the middle where we over time will build a counter. It will be the, the first button you will click on and then it will increase uh, the amount of numbers inside. So that's what we're gonna work with today. I really hope you want to subscribe to the channel. You can go in from the right corner below and then you can click on the thing. Then you are subscribing to my channel and get new videos when I publish out. And if you want, you can like and share this, uh, this video. And of course, if you have any questions, please make the comments below about this video, about ideas or just about me. Remember, the code will be found on my GitHub profile. You can find the, the links inside the description. And uh, I think that's time for let's go ahead and start to do something. So jumping back for the, for the editor first. When you have changed the editor, we can scrolling up and scrolling down, we need the, the counter stage. I need to see about we have that. We don't have, we need to create it. So let's go up here. And what we're going to do now, I think we need to go outside here. And uh, make a var and say counters equal to zero, and then counters state it's equal to this one. And what we're gonna do now is say type should be sh pnk dot hello world and counter state. That's the the type of it, and we want to make a trigger for for the set title. The title is um, when you uh, go in here, this is the ink and the D. This is the title. So if you want, uh, if, if I'm just typing something like that, and then we get problems. So you need to be sure your title is empty. We're going back here and create the function and going inside and say counter should be plus uh, incremented one and then we want the console lock so we can see what happening inside the browser and we just say increment the counter and we just type the counter down here and then we need to going down for for the key down uh, below here we have the key down here and inside here we just say if counter state type equal to, uh, to action and then we want to say counter state set title and uh, that's basically what we're going to work with. We just need to see about it's working in the browser. So let's go in here and reload it. And now we're just going up here and move it a little bit over here. And now we'll press the counter. And you can see the key up and it's hitting what we're going to do. We hit the coordinates and we hit the key. But it's still not tricking about the the code here so that's what we're gonna check up and I'll just see stage I think that's the problem we can just uh, just to be sure what we are hitting I'll just say action here and then we're going down here and clean it and press and states and this is the action copy that we're still not we're still not hitting so we still have an error um, probably a spilling error stage here and I will rename this function and scroll it down. So yes, that's the spelling error. So let's going back for the browser 
and reload it and test it out. Now I can see counter 1, counter 2, counter 3, counter 4. But if I'm going back for my Elgato streaming deck, you can see this um, uh, title list doesn't change to 4. That's what we're going to uh, work with now. So let's go back for the editor and uh, work with that, uh, that stuff. So let's scroll up for the function. The, the stuff we need now should be uh, context. Context we want to work with. And uh, then we're going inside here to say var JSON should be um, event. That's the event we want to send in. And, and context should be context we want to receive. And the payload want to work with should be this one and title should be the counter and why we do this with the the two double pling here before it's because the counter is an ninja and we want to forecast it to to a string so that's what we're going to do and then we need to say the target the target is defined about which device you want to hit if you set it to zero it's meaning you want both uh, hardware and the software devices and that's what we're going to work with today we don't care about it. it's a mac it's a windows it's a ios device we don't care we just hit everything and um, then we basically i just say the console lock down here and i want to say uh, json here to be json and websocket we want to send it and json stringy file json that's what we're gonna work with here and uh, then we scrolling down we, now we have adding this part to, to the function we need to scroll down to the key down uh, we have it here and then we need to add the context and uh, if the action uh, will appear, no, that's not now. We need to test this one. So let's go back to the browser and uh, we want to appear and test it again. One, two, three, four, five. Let's reload it and see what's happening. And now still five, so six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we can increment the, the number and, and this. The one thing we need now should be uh, basically that should be uh, when we appear we, we need to say minus one for the counter and I think that's what we're going to do because when we define the counter as minus one then it will set the title that's what we want and uh, then it will be incremented by uh, one and minus one plus one is equal to zero so you need to go down here to to will appear and uh, whoops and say this counter is equal to minus one let's go back to the browser reload clean the lock and then we just going inside here and see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we basically just want to reload and we're going inside and now it's zero so that's the about how you can work with a single instance in Elgato Streaming Deck SDK. And in the next video, I want to show how you can uh, use the two buttons here to increment and decrement. Uh, and that's what we want to work with the next video. But I really appreciate to have you here today. And I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can go in the down in the right corner and press the ding. And then you're going to subscribe and get videos from my channel. And of course, I really hope you want to uh, share and like this video and if you have any questions please make the comments below and i really hope you want to uh, to download this code from github you can find everything you, you need inside the description thank you so much and hope to see you next time bye